So what we did is we used next generation sequencing so we can look at millions of genes simultaneously. We took about 20 people who were very high responders to smallpox vaccine, an equal number that did not respond to the vaccine, and asked the question, why? What's the difference? They're healthy um, military personnel who had just gotten the smallpox, smallpox vaccine. Why did they respond differently? So we took the, the peripheral blood cells from their body, exposed them to the smallpox virus, actually the vaccinia virus, and then simultaneously measured these millions of different genes and how they're all changing at the same time in what kind of pattern. And somewhat to our surprise, what we found is that we could clearly, by genetic signature, differentiate who was a responder, who was a non-responder, and which genes got activated and started being very active, which genes were suppressed and stopped being active, turned out to be the determining feature as to whether somebody responded or not. It does move us further down the line toward um, individualized medicine, or in our case, what we call it is individualized vaccinology. The time will come in the near future where we'll be able to take one or several of those genes, use them as, as kind of a biomarker and then determine, is it worth giving you this vaccine? Why should you have the risk of this vaccine if we know genetically you can't respond to it, even though you're otherwise healthy? Or maybe we only need to give you half the dose or just one dose because you're gonna have a luxurious response to the vaccine. So it, it really is akin to what's been happening in the drug world where we're beginning to say, based on your unique genetics, what drugs should we or shouldn't we give you and at what doses and how frequently for the best effect for you as an individual rather than just we do the same thing for everybody the same way and hope for the best. This is really a unique era of genomics and, and individualized medicine.